Brother Junior, I have done things I wish I didn't do. I have linkages in every borough of London. What can I do, Brother Junior? Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Brother Junior, I'm addicted to pornography. I can't stop watching the thing. I try and stop, but I can't. I've tried everything, but it just, I can't do it. What can I do, Brother Junior? Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Jesus Christ is the restorer. He can restore people and make them virgins again. I've heard stories of young women that have been restored completely. They've been made, they've been made virgins again. The, the most painful thing for me is to see young men and young women under the bondage of the devil when Christ paid for all of it on the cross of Calvary. 39 lashes, they lashed him. And then they took him up that Calvary hill. And they made fun of him. They mocked him. There was a soldier and he said, if you're the son of God, come down and save yourself. And he never said a word. And they pierced him on his side. My Lord Jesus. And he died. He died. And after all the suffering that he had incurred at the hands of man, he only said one thing before he died. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Now, all the young people in this place today, God is saying, Behold my son who takes away the sins of the world. God is saying, His blood was shed for you. He paid for everything already. Our Lord is coming back very soon. And I want every single person in this place to be in heaven. But if you're not going to heaven, I'm afraid you will be going to hell. Jesus says in Revelations 21, 22, you don't have to go there. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. If you come to Christ, he will make all things new. Come to Christ. Come to Christ. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Keep clapping your hands. I want us to give a special clap to the Lord for blessing us with this message today. Truly there is a difference, as our brother explained to us, between a fawn and a lily. Which one are you? Don't be a fawn, but be a lily. As the Bible declares, we are in this world, but we are not of this world. There is a big difference between those who are serving God and those who are not serving God. Those who are the children of God and those who are not the children of God. Make a difference, dearly beloved. Do not be a fawn, but be a lily. Hallelujah. At this time right now, we're going to cut rings.
So whatever you've brought today into the house of God, I want you to offer up unto the Lord. They're going to bring forward the baskets for us, please, so we can offer up unto the Lord. Offerings. We're going to gather up our offerings right now unto the Lord. Those who are ready with their offerings, they will come forward as we collect the offerings. It's a time for us to offer up unto our Lord. Whilst Mangembo South comes forward in order to sing while we're getting ready for the offerings, Mangembo South. of today a very very special sister as well who is also going to come and bless us and share the word of God with us today so with your applauding I want you to get ready to start clapping as we welcome I said as we welcome I can't hear you applauding as we welcome sister 